in this video, we are going to first start off by translating certain statements into what that mathematical equation would look like. So if you have the statement, the sum of three numbers is 50. So the first thing I like to do when I'm creating an equation is find where the equal sign would be and it's going to be wherever the word is is located. So the before the equal sign is what's to the left of it and then after the what's to the right. So let's see what we have before the equal sign. The sum, so this means you're going to be adding, of three numbers is 50. I don't know what the numbers are, I just know that when I add the three numbers together I get 50. So I'm going to call the three numbers x plus y plus z, so there's the left side, and then equals, and then all I have on the right side is 50. So if I have the sum of three numbers is 50, that just simply translates to x plus y plus z equals 50. All right, let's try another statement and translate it. So the first number is 50 more than the sum of the other two numbers. So again, there's my equal. So if I rewrite this, what's in front of the word is is going to go in front of the equal sign, and then what's after it will come after it. So the first number, I am just going to call that x. And then there's my equal sign, because there's the is. Then behind it, it says 50 more than the sum of the other two numbers. So I'm going to do the other two numbers and the sum. So the sum means I'm going to add the other two numbers together and then 50 more than the sum of those two numbers. So add 50 more. So that's what it would translate. Now we're going to be using this translating process to solve application problems for systems of equations. So when you are solving a system and you've got three variables, you want the x, the y, and the z to be on one side, and then your constant or your number, which in this case will be 50, on the other side. So what I need to do is make that happen to this equation. So that I need to move the y and the z in other words, cancel them out on this side. Whatever you do to one side of the equal sign, you have to do to the other. So now, on the right, I have canceled the y and the z, so there's my 50. On the left, none of those are like terms, so now I just have x minus y minus z. So after you translate, you want to make sure that your equation has the x column, the y column, the z column, then your equal sign, and then your constant on the other side. Okay, in this problem, we are going to be given some statements, and we are going to translate them into equations to see if that can help us solve the problem. So, it says, in triangle A, B, C. Before we start actually looking at the separate statements, the first thing that I need to know beforehand is that all triangles, when you add their three angles together, it's always going to equal 180 degrees. So, the first thing I know is that if I add these three angles together, it's going to equal 180. Now, let's look at this statement. The measure of angle B is 17 more than three times the measure of angle A. So let's translate this. Remember, that's going to be your equal. 
So before I come over to the system of equations that I'm making on the right, I'm going to write this out exactly like it is stated. I have B is 17 more than 3 times angle A. So 3 times angle A would be 3A. 17 more than that would be plus 17. So B is 17 more than 3 times angle A. So remember when we are setting up our systems, we're going to want an A column, a B column, a C column, and then equals the constant on the other side. So let's set this up like that, which means this 3A needs to come over to be the front column. So now on the left, I've got negative 3A, then plus B, those cancel, equals, so that equals, it just came down and equals 17. So when I set this up in my columns over here in my systems, I'm going to have in my A column, negative 3A, then my B column, I've got plus B. I don't have a C, so I'm just actually going to leave that blank and then equals 17. So there's my second sentence. So now let's look at this last statement. Angle C is 43 more than the measure of angle A. So I'm going to work that in the same place I worked the last So again, let's translate that statement. It says angle C is 43 more than angle A. So it's going to be angle A and then 43 more than that. So again, let's set our columns up right. So I need to subtract the A from both sides. So on the left, I've got negative A plus C equals, on the right, I've got 43. So when I come over here and set this up, negative A in the A column, no B. In the C column, I've got plus C equals 43. So now I have set up this system of equations I am going to make into matrices. So angle, or excuse me, not angle, matrix A will use the coefficients on the left side. My first row is going to be 1, 1, 1. My second row will be negative 3, one, and I can't just leave it blank, so I'm going to put a zero in that last spot. So I've got negative three, one, and then zero in my three, in my C column. And then my last row, negative one, zero in my B column, positive one in my C column. So there's matrix A. Now matrix B, remember it's just the numbers on the other side of the equal, so it's going to be 180, 17, and 43. So now we are going to put these matrix back in our calculator. So second matrix. Now you're creating new matrices, so I'm going to go over to edit, editing matrix A, which is again 3 by 3, so 3 by 3, and then enter your new numbers. So going across this first row, I'm going to have 1, 1, 1, so 1, enter, 1, enter, 1, enter. Second row, negative 3, 1, 
zero, negative three. Enter, one, enter, zero. Enter. And then my last row will be negative one, zero, positive one. So negative one, zero, positive one. Again, I'm going to check my numbers. One, 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 negative three, one, zero, negative one, zero, one. So matrix A is done. Now I want to create matrix B. So go back to second matrix over to edit and down to B to create a new B matrix. It's still three by one because it's got three rows and one column. So three, enter, one, enter. Enter your new numbers. So 180, enter, 17, enter, and 43, enter. Now, remember what you want to tell your calculator. I want to tell it matrix A to the negative 1 matrix B. So matrix, I'm going to write it real small, I'm running out of room, to the negative 1 matrix B. So I want to go to just the plain home screen. So I just want to quit what I'm doing. So second, quit matrix A. So second matrix I want to stay right where I am, right? I want to use that matrix A that I have stored in my calculator. So hit enter, then hit X to the negative one, and then second matrix down to B. So there is matrix B, hit enter, and there are your angles. Matrix, or excuse me, angle A is 24 degrees, angle B is 89 degrees, and angle C is 67 degrees. That will satisfy all three of the statements that you see in the problem. All right, another example is we are going to translate these statements into equations and see if what we can find about, out about the numbers. So the first statement, the sum, so that means we're going to be adding, of three numbers is, that'll be our equals, 54. So adding three numbers together, so that'll just be x plus y plus z equals 54. So that is the first statement. The next statement says the difference of the largest and the smallest number. So we're going to be subtracting here. That's what happens when you're finding the difference between two numbers. So the difference of the largest and smallest is, so there's your equals, 47. So I am just going to state that X, I'm going to say, is going to be my largest. Y is going to be the number in the middle. And Z will be my smallest. So the difference of the largest and the smallest would be X minus Z is 47. And the last statement says the sum of the two smaller numbers, so x is my largest number, so y and z are going to be the smaller numbers, is 14. So I'm going to add y plus z, and that's going to equal 14. So I'm going to make matrix A from this, matrix B from that side. So going across my top row. My coefficients are 1, 1, 1. Second row, my x is a 1. There is 0 y, so I need to make sure I put a 0 in that spot. And then negative 1 for the z. 
And then my last row, 0 in the X, 1 in the Y, 1 in the Z. And then matrix B will be the right side of the equals. So 54, 47, and 14. So let's store these new matrices in our calculator. So I want to edit matrix A. So second matrix over to edit, editing matrix A. So once again, it's still a three by three. And then going across the top row, nothing really changes here. So one, one, one. My second row is one, zero, negative one. And my last row is zero, one, one. So again, double check your numbers and then edit matrix B. So second matrix, go over to edit, down to B. Still a three by one. So three by one. And then enter, oh, not three by three. Three by one. And enter your new numbers. 54, 47, and 14. So now I want to tell my calculator matrix A to the negative 1, matrix B. So quit. So second, quit. Now let's use our stored A and our stored B. So second, matrix. That's what I want, matrix A. So enter. Then X to the negative one, and second matrix down to B. Enter. So let's see what this gives me. My largest number, which was the X, is going to be 40. My middle number, which was the Y, will be 21, and the smallest would be negative seven. Okay, last example. These statements say, by eating one egg, one cupcake, and one slice of pizza, a child consumes 300 milligrams of cholesterol. So down here, I am going to use these letters for egg, cupcake, and cholesterol. So my first equation is gonna be one egg, so one egg, plus one cupcake, and one slice of pizza, so plus P. How many milligrams of cholesterol? So that's going to be my equals, and then the milligrams of cholesterol will come over here. So there's my first statement. I've gone through here. My second statement, if the child eats three cupcakes. So that's going to be 3C and four slices of pizza plus 4P. He takes in 92 milligrams of cholesterol. So equals 92. So now we have done that statement. The last statement says if he eats three eggs. So 3E and one cupcake, so plus one C, he consumes 836 milligrams of cholesterol. So here's our three equations that we're going to put into our matrix function. So first row of equation one, all of these have ones in front of them. So my first row is going to be all ones. My second row 
zero in the E column, three in the C, and four in the P. And then my last column, three in the egg column, one in the cupcake column, and zero in the pizza column. Then matrix A, I mean, excuse me, matrix B will be this side of the equations. So 300, 92, and 836. So let's put these matrices in our calculator. So creating new matrices. So second matrix, creating new. So going over to edit matrix A. So matrix A is again three rows, three columns. So three by three. My first row again is all ones. So one, enter one, enter one, enter. My second row will be zero, enter three, enter and four, enter. My last row, three, enter one, enter and zero, enter. Check your numbers and then create matrix B. So second matrix, make sure you go over to edit because you're still creating a new matrix and then go down to matrix B, enter. Again, it's three by one. So three, enter, one, enter, and enter your numbers for matrix B. So 300, enter, 92, enter, and 836, enter. Now is when you want to tell your calculator matrix A to the negative one matrix B. So you want to quit, so second, quit, and then put matrix A to the negative one matrix B in your calculator. So second matrix. So we want to stay on names because that's where we have them stored. Enter X to the negative one button and then second matrix down to B, enter, and then enter. And then here is the milligrams of cholesterol. Your egg would be 272. Your cupcake would be 20, and your slice of pizza would be eight.